We live in a world that runs on data. It's how Amazon and Netflix know which movies and products to recommend, how Starbucks manages a global supply chain, and how Uber connects drivers with passengers in real time. But the thing is, data skills aren't just for tech companies or professional analysts anymore. Everyone works with data to some degree, and everyone can benefit from data literacy skills. In this video, we're covering an important topic that will help you take your data literacy to the next level. Okay, so we've been really focused on data visualization best practices here, which makes sense, but sometimes it can be just as helpful to look at some worst practices too. So let's take a look at some of the most common visualization mistakes that we tend to see, and more importantly, how we might fix them. First up, using the wrong chart type. Super common mistake, we often see people using line charts to show categorical comparisons, or tree maps when a simple bar chart would be ideal. Here we're using a pie chart to show quarterly data, which technically isn't wrong, but assuming that we're interested in understanding the trend over time, a column or line chart, like this one, would show that much more clearly. Next we have lack of focus. And here we've got a line chart with a ton of different series plotted to the point where it just looks like spaghetti. This is technically the correct type of visual, we're looking at trends over time, but it doesn't communicate any clear pattern or serve any clear purpose. So in cases like these, it can be helpful to either remove series that don't contribute to the analysis, or use selective color like this to draw attention to the data points that matter most. Then we have noise and distractions, like 3D formats, animations, background images, and so on. The simple mantra to remember with this one is that if it doesn't add value, it doesn't belong in the visual. In this case, we have a horrendous 3D pie chart that really pulls out all the stops. We've got 3D effects, beveled edges, exploding segments. It's just over the top bad. And remember, just because a feature exists doesn't mean you have to use it. So sticking with a simple donut chart like this would do just fine. Next up is a pretty common one that we see all the time in our data challenges, prioritizing form over function. And that essentially just means picking charts based on what would look cool on a poster, as opposed to what communicates the information most clearly. Here we see a sunburst chart showing employees by team and office location, which looks pretty sweet, but is actually quite tough to interpret. So for something like this, you may not choose to visualize that data at all if a simple table, like this one, provides the exact information you need. Now, here's a devious one, misleading narrative which is about exaggerating trends or patterns to make them appear more dramatic or significant than they really are. So take a look at this column chart comparing results for men and women. Clearly this data skews heavily towards male, right? Actually, no, the y-axis has just been truncated so much that it makes fractions of percentages look massive. When we reset that y-axis to start from zero, we see the real story, which is that there's no significant difference at all. And last but not least, missing context. In this case, we have a dual axis chart, but it's impossible to tell what's what. There's no chart title, no legend, no axis labels to help us match each series to the correct values. The obvious fix here is to simply add those chart elements to make sure readers can follow along. So there you have it, some of the most common data visualization mistakes to avoid. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, we've got a brand new Data Literacy Foundations course, and it's entirely free. You can check it out at mavenanalytics.io. So whether you're an individual looking to build confidence, a leader seeking to empower and upskill your team, or a data professional just trying to stay ahead of the curve, this is the course for you. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive in.